coordinates of course there we go and we're white oh sonra and say haven't played that against that in a long time uh, and i got my blankie because it's pretty cold down here and it's kind of late at night and to be honest i've been hearing lots of weird noises so we're, we're we're playing a little bit scared go so if i get axe murdered in the middle of this um well maybe you guys are all gonna see it <laughs> YouTube will have to put an adult content warning on it. Uh, what, are we, what are we doing? Wow. Um, I haven't played this in a long time. Let's just ask for the corner. Okay. Locally, this is a very good... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. This, locally, normally, this is a very good Joseki for white. Um, do I want to make this push cut... Kind of do. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll not wedge it yet. Hmm. Black's gonna play there. That's fine. But we have counter provisions, so we'll fight over here for a little while, and then we'll get to come back here and decide what to do about all of this. That's a good move. Let's just play there. Um, still weakness here. All right, uh, the move I have to watch out for is this. If I play this, black can play this. And we get into a little bit of trouble. I think it's actually fine, right, in this case. Do, do, do. Yeah, totally fine. We, we just capture. Black does get outside, but we have lots of cuts. And the other possibility, oh right, is black fur to push up and Atari and come out. And that actually might be better. Hmm. I really don't want to play this though. This is play this compromise. So I think black is gonna capture no, black's not alright, black doesn't do anything I say black's gonna do. It's late at night. Of course, this is against what, a Korean? And so it's like Morning there. <laughs> uh, just keep going. Just keep going. And let's cut. I'm waking up in nine hours. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, this cut does... I just want to play here, guys. I want to play here. I could lean again and then play there. That also is probably good. I have enough liberties, though. Let's just cut. Let's just cut. And in this case, uh, in terms of how it's played out, I think it's very good that I didn't actually wedge here. I think that was good. But I guess if I wedged, I probably would have played differently. So, who knows? Ah, uh, go, is, go is a game of millions of variations, and we can know but one of them at a time. Hmm, let's drink some water. I should be, I should be hydrating. Hydration is very important to playing strong go moves. That's my pro tip for the day. Okay, I'm just gonna get to own the center, I guess. Oh, no, wants a fight. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, this, that move is important. Like, very important move. This one, not as important. Like, I guess it is, it's still important. It's just not as, not as good, not as fun. Oh, really, I'm gonna push up here. I say no, I say you have to go this way. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna even say you have to go this way again. <laughs> okay, that's a little risky actually. 
if I play here? Just jump. I think I just jump. Might Ooh, pushes up now. Is that bad timing? Mm. It's certainly unclear timing. Certainly unclear timing. So it's like I have a stone here. That doesn't really help. <laughs> mm, maybe it does. Uh, yeah, this is attached here. Of course, black will push up. We'll connect. Black will push through. And we'll hane. Okay. <laughs> we basically dared black to do all this, but this injures this a lot. And this is why we um, put up with it and also combined with the fact that we have some Aji down here now. Oh. Huh. Is this good? I don't know which one to play. I think just I think this one's uh, stronger, yeah. Stronger move. We can always get out. So can I play here again? <laughs> just keep jumping out ahead of this black. <laughs> I think we can. Like it's not it's like I have I have all these extra liberties, right? I have liberty here, liberty here, liberty here. Like I keep finding extra liberties. Oh, I can play this one. That's kind of dirty. Let's do it. Mm. Mm, can I play this one? I kind of can. It's a little bit iffy. It's also this one. This one still works. Kind of, but it's, it's the same problem as this one. Where I'm, I'm putting en extra emphasis on hoping the ability I can push through here with just this stone here that can be cut. So it's feeling increasingly dubious. Hmm. He might just push up here. Oh, okay, no, he wants to push up legitly. All right, we have liberties, so we can play this poke. It's short to liberty, right? Nope, same number of liberties. Let's just ask for poke right now. Uh, and then here we have options. This one feels best. This one's literally the best. This one feels best. <laughs> you gotta do what feels good. Mm. So can I turn now? Is that what you're saying? Black was worried about this Aji, right? And, and, and wanted to force this cut, which is why I played this turn. But um, between all this, I kind of come away with some momentum that I'm really excited about. Like, we're, we're just chasing one dragon. And it looks like the dragon is just about to be freed. So, when we get to the situation like this, what is important? Well, this is big. I can still be counterattacked here. Um, keeping any pressure on this is also very valuable. Maybe this? Feels like it's asking for that, though. That's why I don't immediately like it. I could also just play this, right? And just wait? Because I'm threatening cut. That's pretty good. So here and there. And then find time for this. And black will make a giant bottom and I'll make a giant right. Oh, you're going to fix it like that. Okay. Okay. That's fair. All right, so that's a uh, black is looking to be to get around this and attack it. Except I can make like two eyes with one move. I guess that's kind of sente for black too, though. All right, so this this is like a this is like the type of thing I screw up all the time. I look at this and I go, look at all the resource. I have liberties. This is a really big gap for black to defend. Clearly, the thing I should do is just make points in the corner. <laughs> 
right? So clearly not the answer, but uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't feel bad. Let's just make that shape point. I guess this this yeah, this doesn't really guarantee eyes because he can play that sequence. He or she or it <laughs> or they <laughs> could play this way. But oh man. The stone even breaks this ladder, right? Let's just let's just do this. Like throw it down. Like really, really turn this into like a real, real huge co. I don't know about the timing of this. I have regrets. All right, let's just see if I can play that now. Oh. Says, no, it's a real co. You must defend. All right. I'm game. Uh, is this a net now? Might be a net. And by might, I mean it's a loose ladder. <laughs> it's not really a net. But it's interesting. I give it that. Mm -mm. It's interesting. Uh, how many points is this bottom worth? Ooh, okay. Interesting. I have half a mind to come on top here. Make this fight even bigger. I just I just don't have this peep though. And I don't really want to take this peep because it's also how I finish the co for two ice. So that's pretty reasonable. Um I can just let black have that. I think. I don't know. Let's put pressure on these two stones. This is still the target, right? We have to. We can't lose our focus. We have this dragon. We're attacking it. That's what this game is about. Black wanted how many points? Let's see. This is the tenth line. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, we'll say, times four. Black wanted these 60 points. It's really not 60 points, but we're going to pretend. Oh, no! This is how it nets, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. I have an Atari. Not hallucinating, right? Not hallucinating. Am I hallucinating? Did I hallucinate? Oh, black's just gonna cut through here. Okay, we're just gonna give this up. That is fair. This isn't even good for me, right? Like I, it's a uh, kind of liability. <laughs> Mm, what's best? Might be this. Hmm. This feels like a shape point. Is it the shape point? It certainly feels like one. This has to be a shape point. All right, can't die. Okay, captured. But now we're gonna get punished over here. Black's gonna play right there. Ooh, what does Black see here? Not ex unexpected, very unexpected move. That's, dude, you're alive, why? Do I need this? Like, I still, I still even have the co over here. I have this, like we haven't figured out talking about this, what is this? Is it Sente? If you, uh, I mean, this obviously is not Sente, but going again, the going again will be Sente, so we can take the next one in Sente. Mm, I guess you can't come all the way through here. So that's that's kind of the reason. But I can take Ko in response to this at the mere price of two stones. Let's just play here. I don't know. Hmm. Do 
That's good. I guess I should have played there. I should have peeped. <laughs> that was my actual thing I should have done. We'll play there. Yep, you take, take co. Mm, how does the fighting work here? Pushes through, comes down. It's pretty, it's pretty violent. <laughs> it's pretty violent. Man, I don't know. Is this good as a co-threat? This, uh, I have regrets about this. I will have to, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Really? this work like it all um mm -hmm, descend there it's co it's really it's co again let's start with this move then i don't know maybe i, I guess i can always take that that's fine How many liberties do I actually have? That's, that's seemingly important. How many of our points I had over here I just totally lost? And that was a two stone corner. We need, do need to uh, rough up the bottom to make amends for this. Four liberties. I can capture that in four liberties, right? I think so. I mean, this, if I get all of this, it's not worth all of this. But it's worth a pretty good chunk. Oh? Black says, no, you do not have the ability to capture all this. And I say, that's very interesting. I thought I would. One, two, three, four. Oh, he can get a fifth liberty. Oh, but I can get a fifth liberty. We can all get fifth liberties. Mm-hmm. Does that mean I just take the Atari right now? That feels really lame. It feels like I'm letting Black off the hook down here. Let's play this way. Gotta connect. It's gotta... Mm. Does it work? What if I just play here? This is also a good move, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just play here. Unless there's some Aji over here that I'm not seeing. Uh, which is very possible, <laughs> given the, the uh, tibbiness of what's available. All right, we're up to five. Liberties? That's what we thought we had. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing has changed. So black can get five liberties over here. Pretty easily. More than that, perhaps. Looks like six liberties. But the problem is then this thing. Yeah, this is the Aji I was starting to worry about. And I don't think it's a problem yet. My very cursory read. I mean, this is actually guaranteed life. So even if he pulls out these two stones, this can live and then this can live and everybody's fine. And by everybody, I mean me. I don't really care about my opponent. So that's, you gotta, you know, always remember what's important. Mm, I have four. He has four. One shared liberty. That's uh, that's quite a co. I don't think I need it though. Do I need to play here though? No, let's just play here. Okay. Always gonna co that if I if I do it that way. Mm. 
Uh, this looks like Seki, but Seki's fine because I kill this, and then I then I'm fine. Or it could be ten thousand year co, but no, not if I play here. Um, right? Anything? Bueller? Just connect. Not even sure I need that. Okay. Oh no! Wait a second. Wait a second. I I needed to throw in here at some point. I need to throw in there in the last my my, my last move. No, I didn't. I can only I I can take. All right, we're good. We're good. We're still good. Yeah. Okay. Now I can throw in, and Seki. Seki's fine, unless he can push through here. That's actually a little bit scary. Uh, so we gotta throw in. Actually, we can throw in Sente, right? Because this is. Or not in Sente. I should. This is why I should have thrown in earlier, right? To get him to. Okay, he did take anyway. All right, so we just have, we just have to make sure we don't die over here. Um, and this move is actually nothing. Here, here, here. What if we place here, here, here? Nothing. Oh man, that's a little scary. We got time on the clock. How is he going to find Aji here? Man, this shape this shape point was so good. You guys remember when I played this? This was just baller. This is big. It's probably not as big as this though. What else can I play over here? I think we should play here. Um I'm not I'm not seeing a sequence for him that works. Or her, or they, or it. Who knows who I'm playing? Let's we'll just take a corner. And I think we gotta play this one. <laughs> if we play this one, we're gonna be in. Mm. Uh, all right. Just the hard nose line. If I play here, he extends. If I connect, then I'll have one eye in the corner. Mm. Oh, not even gonna play co. Let's play there. Uh, yep, okay. There you go. Oh? You find it? Is this the is this the sequence that I could not find? Doesn't look like it, but maybe. One, two, three, five. If he gets three liberties there and then plays there, I have three liberties. He has three liberties. Oh, he wins that. Oh, no, but I have... No, yeah, he wins. Oh, fascinating. So I still have to come up here. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. If I played here, this would be the mistake, right? Oh, no, no, he, uh, dun, 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 dun. yeah, three to three. No, but it's my move, duh. Does it matter? Hmm, 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 three to three, my move. Then I can Atari and Kind of connect. Does this just work though? This might work better. Oh, it's, it's fine, right? He's scaring me. Why is he scaring me? Because I'm scared in this house because there's noises. It's late at night and there's lots of noises. <laughs> this video is an insane person plays Go. That's what it is. That's what we're doing here tonight. It's just an insane person plays Go. Drinks his water. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> um, 
Man, sure feels like I can play this one in Sente, doesn't it? <laughs> he extends. I have to block there. Four liberties. How many do I really have? One. It's like a co thing. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just make this exchange. If he plays there, that's actually leaving more Aji, which is pretty exciting. So he kind of has to play there or fight some multi step co thing I didn't read. I guess he has co-threats now, though. Oh man, this left side did get large, <laughs> relatively speaking, considering he was cowering there. Oh, you have that and Sente. Yeah, I see you. I see what you did there. All right, that's good. Mm -hmm. Still have to think about connecting there. I just don't get all the the fun if he... Yeah, he can play Tiger's Mouth. So that's a little bit sad, but or it's fine. We'll just live. All right, the bottom three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a it's basically a clean like forty points. This is just forty points of territory. Pretty pretty nice. This block here. It's so sad. I want to do better, more impressive things. Mm. Let's uh, take this. Seems good. <laughs> now that my opponent has thoroughly defended the 40 points at the bottom. Yep. <laughs> End game moves like that feel real, real solid. All right. We'll just block there. It's also... Um, uh, all right, there's still this. This is alive. I don't care. All right, this, I can give up a stone. Um, yep, that's a big move. That's actually big too. Run game. Yeah, well, after this move, I can play this type of move, which is great. Definitely aiming at this, but obviously got to take care of the top first. Hmm. That's a good, that's a, that's an Atari. <laughs> that's an Atari. I should connect so I don't die. Oh, gosh, my feet. I kicked my camera. If you're wondering why bad things just happened. <laughs> It's because an insane person is playing Go right now. Not actually insane, just like, it's, it's nighttime and it's scary and weird things are happening. So I apologize for that. But that's, that's the story. All right, I got my little chunk of territory here. This is big. Let's just do it. You should take there. Yep. That's also big. This is bigger. This is pretty big too. It's really annoying. So we'll play it. Oh no. He got it. <laughs> well, we knew that was gonna happen. Not a surprise. Uh, that's pretty big too. Let's play this. Nine, Eight. stop counting, I hate you. Six. You don't even count evenly. Four. All right, so we got 40, 55, 60, 65 for black. That's a very quick estimate. Uh, this is normally best, but fine. Less thinking. Uh, oh, yeah, that's big. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. Good job. This is not big. I should not have taken that. This is big. Should have taken this big, too. Um, hmm.
Hmm. This is an interesting move for uh, for black, huh? Take that one, take all the pokes. Yeah, I really wish I did not get black eyes over here. <laughs> It'd be really great. Not too, that's not big enough. Hmm. 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 I think this, this liberty is meaningful, <laughs> which is kind of depressing. Uh, do we take this? That's not a thing. We can take this. Maybe that. All right, so if black has 65, what do I have? Um, 10? 15, whoa, hey, window security, go away, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I can't, oh, what, is this a thing? Interesting. Okay, back to counting. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Uh, so this is like 50, a little over 50, plus what I said at about 25 and other, and other assorted junk. Um, so that's 75, and I don't, I don't think I've added Comey yet. Oh. That's dirty. Hmm. I can. We should take that right now. Yep. Uh, so anyway, I'm not in danger of losing. Is I think what I'm trying to say, and play a really sloppy end game all at the same time. I should take that one. Really sloppy end game. I'm gonna have to oh move here, huh? Well, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, those liberties are important. Any points in here? Doesn't look like it. Still need to play it out at some point. Let's just play there. Have this. Okay, nobody gets ice. Great. That's fine. Just poking all this. I owe a capture here. Let's just do that now. And, you know, late night fun game. <laughs> well, some sort of monster was trying to break into my house. Uh, yeah, I think we can count, right, sir? 15 points, yeah! That was pretty good counting, too. As I said, 10 before Comey. 15 and a half point win. Yeah, for a quick count. Uh, no, 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 no rematch right now. Okay, we gotta do some robots. And... And we're back. And oh dear, did I miss miss a thing, a really big thing. I just wasn't looking for it. Uh, as you can see by the graph, it's above my head. Uh, again, look for the jagged areas because that means both players are missing something. Where the whole like first half of the middle game, over more than half the middle game, both of us are missing a huge, just just killer sequence. Oh, don't you hate that when that happens? So, if you were shouting at your screen while watching this game, uh, because you saw the killer sequence, I apologize. 
And, uh, you know, we'll go over it now. For all of these who didn't, you know, we'll, we'll investigate it and I'll show you and you'll be like, oh, right. Yeah. Nick's, 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 uh, Nick's insane or Nick's not in his right head or something. I don't know. Um, I'm just not looking for the stuff like with these time limits and late night games. I'm just not, I'm just not searching very deep in my, in my tree. So I totally missed the sequence, but so did my opponent, or at least if he saw it, he just assumed that I wouldn't. Um, so the game, the whole middle game is just thrown into this like confused, like the AI is just very confused as to why things are not happening. They're supposed to be happening. Anyway, let me show you what I learned. Uh, cause there's definitely some, some good learning stuff. The beginning of the game is actually quite strong. Uh, I do make the first mistake that's over the two points or more. Um, but you know, there's no, there's no major mistakes. Everyone's playing pretty, pretty solid moves. Um, black has a, has a, a better choice here to switch directions. This move is greedy. And basically I'm, I'm, I'm taunting black. I'm saying, Hey, do you really want to defend your son run? Say, if you do, I'm going to get a really nice corner. And indeed black does say that. And so I have a little bit of an advantage here, um, at this point, not a huge advantage, but, but this is, um, when black is insistent on building this so directly, this is a very nice counter to that. Interesting. The AI likes this move, which I've considered to be a trick move. I learned as a trick Joseki. But according to AI, it's the best, it's the best uh, sequence here, which is fascinating. Um, so that's kind of fun. My, I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, carrying on, I take the corner, black blocks this way, makes the correct cut, and we play pretty well. Here, I make the first mistake that's worth more than two points, like I mentioned, and it's extending this way rather than this way. And you can, we can play out the difference a little bit just to show you. It says black should take this immediately. Interesting. Um, and Hane, and is this, is this a fight that's very unclear? <laughs> very robot kind of, kind of style. White has to get some liberties to not die immediately. Black has to get some liberties to not die. Then white has to not die. And then everybody just basically says, I don't want to die. That seem oh, and there's this co. That's far out. Don't really want to be playing a co right now. Hmm. But uh, I think white does have the better position. So if white wins the co, so assuming black gets to make a good on a co threat, um, still a pretty even game. Um, if white wins and black doesn't get enough compensation, this is a good board for white. Um, this black group is not settled. I will have a sizable corner, center presence, and the whole point of black building the bottom is just totally vaporized. So, no problem. Sorry, let's go back to the game. It's not really the most most relevant lessons, I think, that we can learn from this. Uh, indeed, jumping is much better than here. We can compare. Uh, pretty, almost two-point loss if we, don't, if we don't play this move. Um, and, and black has the option, like we notice in game, but it's immediately... Uh, read out to be a uh, almost a four point loss, yeah, almost four, th over three and a half. Um, but this is the sequence that Black could have chosen um, to play this way, and you can already see. Actually, now it's over a four point loss if you play the whole thing out, because um, White takes control of the center, even though the Black gets a Panuki. Like this is one of those weird, weird things where uh, you know Panukis are such strong shape, you want to make them, and so we give up a stone, give our opponent a Panuki, and we're winning. Is that amazing? <laughs> uh, just because we have a, a, a slightly more stable center group. Um, totally counterintuitive how that works. Like when I was when I was looking at this possibility, I was like, "Ah, it's fine. It's I have no idea." But surprised, just shocked to see how big of a loss it is for Black to make that cut. Totally counterintuitive. And we play here. We're going to do this crawling thing, which is the robot entirely agrees with, except for my fourth crawl. It says, no, no, I need to come back and Hane at this point, um, which makes sense. Uh, as we saw in the game, Black was able to sort of run up through here and start a fight. Um, but I guess, I, I guess it's more because I cut than Hane. Um, if I don't make this exchange, cutting is not as good as Hane. Once I do make this exchange, I don't, uh, no, it's still, Hane is still better. But not by much. This this actually makes the cut better, right? The stronger you are, the more violent you can play. Um, that's actually a very nice, clear indication of that. In the in the, at least according to the AI percentage numbers, like cutting before you're strong enough, it's a 1.3 disadvantage 
get a little bit stronger. Now it's only a point, I get, it's like, it's like it makes this cut worth a point more by getting a little bit stronger, which is very nicely illustrated. Uh, this is all pretty nice of a sequence that everyone plays. Everyone plays good moves, um, except for here, black pushes up instead of jumping out. I make the next biggest mistake on this board. Black's making lots of little mistakes, um, like up to two points, and I'm just making the, the ones that are a couple, <laughs> you know, here and there, they're just two points or more. <laughs> Um, actually, up until this point. After this point, Black starts making some bigger mistakes. So, Hane, not needed. Again, this whole direction is running this way. This is the weakest group. I can lean on this group to get out, and I have a friend over here. So I just need to play this way. And uh, help the weaker side. So, this is this is also this kind of bad shape, right? It doesn't really make an eye. It's... I don't know. It just felt very natural to use this wall to attack three stones, but not quite right. Anyway, this jump, not as good as Hane. Yep, take the shape point, shape point, jump. Um, pushing up is fine, that's a choice. Uh, this this uh, pseudo net, it's, it's not a real net, it's a net-like move is okay, but Robot says, yeah, just play from the weaker side and get out ahead of the, the running groups. All that's expected. Robot wasn't in love with my attach move here. Just wanted just a fixed shape all the way back here. Oh God, like, look at that. Like, look at all the things we can do. We've got a weak group here, a weak group here. Instead of making any sort of like fancy shape move, attachment or attacking directly, it's just like, nah, just, just make that a wall. <laughs> like, like pretend, just fill it in with some mortar, move on. Spackle, spackle that drywall, move on. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, anyway, this sequence, this ended up being way more better than I thought it would in the game. I thought, I, you know, I, like I played it. I obviously thought it wasn't bad. But there is this Aji in here. Um, and you can see this at this move, there's this big clue that when black cuts here, there's a three and a three, three point, three point loss for black. And all of a sudden, white has a five point lead. Almost has a, has a Comey lead on the board. And if you're looking at the next move, you can already see that uh, the robot wants white to push through here. And indeed, this is the move that sits... What move are we at? We're at move 51. It's going to sit on the board forever. Like, like 100 moves. And just basically make the AI very confused. Because this move is killer. Like, this move is awesome. If you, if you haven't... And it looks obvious, right? It's totally a Q move, right? And once you get strong enough, you don't you stop playing moves like that. Um, except when they work and you have to read out when they work. And this is one of those cases when it works. And so if you haven't figured it out yet, uh, take a gander at it, see if you can read it out and come up with the sequence. I won't pause the video, so you got to pause it yourself. Um, but I'll, I will show you the, the sequence here. Um, interesting, oh, this next exchange is really interesting. Instead of extending, it asks Black to make this um, Atari first. And it... And, It'd probably be an ex accepted exchange and everybody lives. Really fascinating. If white plays here, then it, the fight's on. And just it's this very like prescient looking into the crystal ball future for black to take away a liberty from this group, which is really like scary, you know, kind of good go. All right, but anyway, we're not really talking about that. I want to focus on this cut. So let's say white cuts right here. Oh, no, no, let's do pass it so it doesn't play it all out. No, and, and turn you off. Stop, stop. Don't. Be cool, AI. Be cool. All right, so white cuts here, and obviously black wants to block. And so if you got this far, good. That's the first move. Uh, the second move is to make another cut. And it doesn't look like it works, right? It looks like it's just kind of going to die. But uh, this, is, this is the beauty of the scenario. Um, at this point, you can now play this cut. Okay, fascinating. And so now when we run out, uh, black can't go this way again, right? This is Atari. Oh, and you can see this gets train wrecked real fast. Any other choices? Let's see, black goes this way. Uh, apparently I need the AI because this actually looks like it works for black. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, black can't play here, right? That's dead. OK, 
Can black play this one? Yes, that one looks like it works. All right, AI, I need you. What was the solution here if... Uh, here? Oh, you have to, yeah, you have to, sorry. You have to run out two stones for this to work. You have to get black to play a stone there. Um, oh, and instead of throwing in, we play this one. Same idea. If we play here, uh, comes down, comes down, here. It's a three to three capturing race with, what is this? This is garbage. This is, oh, it's co. Wow, okay. Oh, that's scary. Hmm. Yeah, this co-sequence. Yeah, this is the toughest line for sure. I guess black, it says black's best move here is this. It still comes this way, throw in, yeah, and just get more liberties. If we take, just win cleanly. Yeah. So it's this, you know, when you have multiple cuts with very limited groups with liberties that are relying on ladders. Um, that's a very scary situation to be in. And I know so many Q games, I've watched so many Q games where, where you know, you see one player just make this kind of shape and not defend any of the cuts, and neither player is willing to try, um, or I guess neither, neither player realizes the importance of those cuts and the weaknesses they're in. Um, so anyway, this, this defect... This huge defect, right? Because again, this is a, basically if black takes the hard line, black's playing for co for all of this. That's huge. This is all of black's money, right? This is all black has. And it can turn into a giant co. That is scary. Real, real scary. Uh, and even after white gets more liberties, it doesn't matter. This is still there. And basically, black should just give up two stones. Like, like black doesn't need to play the hard line. Um, if we play this out now... Here, let's... You can see it goes the same way. Oh, but in this case... What? Where's nine? Now the robot says come back and give all that up? Just for that one move? You stupid robot. Here, play here. Mm, it says ignore, just give up. Interesting. Uh, I think my point is, at least in the variations I looked at and right now, this, sorry, this very fumbling variation, uh, these two stones should be whites. That's, that's the reasonable expectation. And if you notice, if white captures these two stones, look at all the things. That means there's no more life and death problem in the corner. That means this is totally strong. This is totally strong. And yeah, black does solidify the bottom, Maybe I should use a different color for that. But we were kind of already mentally writing this off anyway. We were just looking for Aji here. Black did get a move to help solidify the center groups. The center is not under as extreme attack. Um, so black did get things, but white has no problems in this game. And assuming black captures, takes a move to capture here. Like so. Uh, white gets Sente and not a cloud in the sky. That's the nice thing about this position for for white. Um, it looks like the AI rates at almost exactly even, still actually a black advantage, which is amazing, given they just kind of gave up a little bit of center strength. Anyway, uh, this whole sequence, no matter how strong white gets for either of these two groups, this whole sequence is still working, and I never take advantage of it, so it's a big problem. So the AI is very unhappy all throughout here. You're just going to see this score bouncing back and forth, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, because no one is doing anything about it. Like, it's just sitting there. Um, through all this, I looked through a lot of these cuts um, here. Uh, we both play some bad moves. Um, the AI wants Black to be a little more running to the edge, running to safety. Trying to surround this is asking for a little bit too much. Still wants White to cut, but alternatively, um, White can 
just cut directly and fight. White's strong enough over here and over here to do so. And so I don't really, I, I kind of take a soft line first. I'm like, I don't know if I should cut yet. Let me just get more strength first. Get ahead a little bit in terms of the neighboring resources and then go back in. But no, the timing is important. Um, and this whole co, oh my God, the robot is just so upset at us. Because of because we're not playing out this sequence until we know how, what black is going to give up down here, this co is meaningless, and so you can just see the unhappiness of this AI having to be forced to review all of these moves, uh, and even this cut. It's like no, just play down here, find out how strong you are first, and then you can decide what to do up here. So this co is all pretty meaningless. The AI is pretty unhappy. Again, same thing very unhappy with these exchanges because until we know if black is going to go up these two stones, all these moves are meaningless. So when you have these really big question marks on the board, uh, you know, you have to know if it's, a, if, if they're actually worth anything <laughs> when you have a sequence like that out. Um, so anyway, eventually the AI does calm down a little bit. We play this cut here. This is a question mark in the game after, um, let me turn off the AI for a second. When I played here, I was like, oh yeah, this move looks good. The AI, the AI does have a better suggestion. And this is simply just extend down here like this. And that's fine. It's pretty similar. Um, but it does give white the ability to immediately um, come underneath and get more liberties and continue some sort of attack on the center group. With this move, this is giving black the opportunity, of course, to play a sequence like this and dig into the corner just a little bit faster, a little bit harder, among other things. So, you know, this leaves a little more Aji here, but again, we're still trying to attack this, and this is the move that ensures that that keeps going. Little detail, but still a, a good point. Um, and of course, this was a this was the shape point I had to play. All right, what else? what else was cool in this game? Oh yeah, this was an interesting sequence. At this point, instead of peeping here, uh, the robot says, just threaten to take these two stones. And white should be like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> like, gonna go do something else. Um, and it's Black's turn to take these two stones. But notice, even though this looks kind of dumb, <laughs> like, like we're giving up two moves over here in this very hot area of the board um, for only two stones, it makes sure that this is alive. It doesn't really attack this, but it does give it does prevent some of the Aji over here with like this Atari, um, etc. And it also takes away this point. So these two stones, I mean, most of you probably realize intuitively they're actually really big and important. But you know, in the moment, like white shouldn't really get too excited about trying to. Um, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't be excited about giving up two stones to get two moves over here because because this is so big. Like it's fair. Like this is just a fair exchange. It's probably how I want to frame it. Uh, here, yeah, this was another point I made during the game. I should peep instead of playing this move. This move's too weak. Uh, and then here I can find a stronger move like this or something that does a little bit better better job protecting the corner. Uh, this co is not the worst move in the world, but. Yeah, here, after this Hane, Robo says, yeah, just dig in. You don't need to find any other cuts. Just take your corner points. So I was too, way too optimistic here, looking for more. Um, but Black makes a huge mistake. And so right now you can see this is still an even game. Like, we're coming out of this, and as far as the AI is concerned, it's even. Which is kind of a shock to me, actually. Um, it probably shouldn't have been, because uh, I lost all my points here, effectively, in the current at the current moment. And I have to kill this to get them all back. Oh yeah, we have to talk about this spike though. Do you guys see the spike coming up? This is a fun one. This is this is <laughs> this is a move. I almost had a whoops. And uh, all this this was very good for white because black didn't. Black was very fumbling around. Took this Atari, which is fine. Took this this is fine. Um, but going back to here, let's see. At this point, this is black should just go after that stone. If I extend, just continue, extend, hmm, that's silly, <laughs> extend again, 
Oh dear. Yeah, and fight this co. Crazy. Yeah, it just turns into co. Co for a corner. Um, but apparently that's better for black, just to threaten a co to take back this huge neighborhood. Okay, anyway, here uh, we play this out and we start this capturing race. Yeah, I liked my move. You know, this little nudge in here, make the shape. And at the moment, again, I even play the AI move, even though it says it's not the best one. It thinks this is worth a point and a half more, or sorry, a one po about one point more. Uh, even though it leaves some bad Aji. So this one, it's more solid. And at this point, this is uh, like, you know, black can fight for some Aji in here, but in general, this is kind of settled. Um, and white has a pretty sizable advantage. Black plays here, of course, I fix. And again, this whole thing is pretty much settled. Black has some end game over here, but really should just Tanuki and take the other corner of the board. Of course, that's not what black does. And that gives me an opportunity to buffoon. <laughs> Uh, black starts here, and I should take this. I did not take this bait in game. I was like, that's bait. That's not... I don't want to have this co-potential. But the thing is, <laughs> if black is insistent on making local co-threats over here, I kill this, and now all of a sudden this is, this is under severe attack. And so I don't even have to think of this as a co. Like... Black can't fight this. It puts another entire black group at risk. And so I just had no balls at this point. I was just scared. For whatever reason. Maybe it was the monster that just got into my house. Oh. <laughs> I have a funny story about that, actually. I did have to have I did have an exterminator come last week. Because uh, I had multiple species of creatures apparently living in my attic. True story. <laughs> Anyway, uh, multiple kingdom, multiple animal kingdoms were represented uh, with infestations in my attic. Okay, anyway, uh, here. Yeah, this is the moment. I, after I played this, I was lamenting I didn't throw in. Throwing in is still not the right move. I need to play this. And again, I was scared of this Ko. Um, but it's kind of the same thing, is that if it goes to Ko, well, then I take here, and then I take here, and then the whole right-hand side is at risk. Uh, actually, this wants me to finish the co. It wants me to come back here. If black plays this co, nothing local, huh? Play, oh, wants me to take local threats. Wow, AI is just like, yeah, give up that corner. That's amazing. So bonkers. AIs really don't mind co's. Like, they're just not scared of them. They're just like, yeah, co, co me, bro. Um, all right, but anyway, this is, this is the baller move that... My opponent missed. In the game, my opponent lo lovingly played this minus 17 point move, which was so nice. But in the game, he needs to play this this one. And this one, I was I was briefly worried about. I didn't read it all the way, but I got real scared. Uh, it kind of looks like this. I can take this, short this liberty, but I have to fill in. And anytime black wants, and I stress black because right now white doesn't really have a reason to take the coat. Like white has to play two moves of nothing to give up two moves elsewhere um meanwhile was black sente like are you really am i really going to take this right now probably not if i take this again like this is this is a i just lost the total you know upper right hand side and black's up by you know 10 points so i can't i don't have time to play two moves over here and clean this up so this code's going to sit here for a while if black is insistent and says we should start the co right now, well, that's still scary. <laughs> um, but my point is black doesn't have to do that, given this type of shape of co. So it's a real annoying, real nuisance kind of scenario. Um, and here, apparently, instead of throwing in this was better. It's the same, but just better co-threats. Better Aji for, for such things. Um... And to hear, of course, uh, yeah, this, this, after I play this move, black has to Tanuki. Like, this is all settled. When black takes here, it looks like it's Seki or something can happen, but that's very optimistic. And so black doesn't need to make this exchange at all. Like, black can go do lots of other things on the board. And you can see my score skyrockets 
from where, you know, just moments ago, this was an even game because this whole upper left-hand corner was in question. And then Black dies in Gote. And so the rest is kind of history. Um, oh, actually, what's interesting is the AI did not like my move here. I did not look at this earlier, but I want to know what happens if uh, the robot... What if it just does this? Is this uh, what's going on? It says no, just give up. This is that's best, okay. Mm, I see. Yeah, black has no time to come in here. If everybody lives which is very dubious for this black group. I see, I see. Yeah, I guess I got I was I was treating black a little bit stronger than black was. And when black's really strong, you have to play these compromise moves like this. Um, the normal moves don't work. But again, these three stones aren't actually that strong. I already have an attachment. I have these two stones as Aji. I should just play normal. Um, and obviously if it goes like this, then white is real happy. Because this is alive. Okay. Anyway, so a little bit of a unfortunate bummer there. And, uh, you know, Black tried some things, but, you know, at this point, the game's pretty much over. Um, Black does make, you know, 10 points up in endgame. Just for me being just very defensive and being like, okay, I have this game one. I have this game one. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. And so that's that. So anyway, uh, what did we learn? I don't know. It's kind of late. It's like, it's like past my bedtime now. <laughs> I think that's what we learned. Oh, Blinky, you've stayed with me. So through, through thick and thin <laughs> during this game. Anyway, uh, happy going. <laughs>